NHS cultists claim it's the envy of the world despite record waiting lists and AWOL GPs. But who can be proud of a service that turns away a blood donating grandfather because he refused to the answer, answer the question if he's pregnant? Uh, the heroic Leslie Sinclair, who had donated blood for more than 50 years, was turned away after refusing to defy the laws of basic biology by answering whether he was incubating a human. Mark Turner, director of the Scottish National Blood Transfusion Service, said he thanked Mr Sinclair and his commitment over the years, but added that sex assigned at birth was not always visually clear to staff. But among those shocked by the incident is columnist extraordinaire Rod Little, who thinks we should follow in Leslie's footsteps by standing up against the progressive idiocy of the NHS. It may be the only way we can save our rudderless health service from itself. Hi, Rod. How are you doing? Uh, very good. Uh, what really bothers me is that we're paying for this nonsense. Yeah, I mean, in, in a sense, this is a good news story because uh, uh, this is a chap, you know, Leslie Sinclair, who uh, has given 125 pints of blood over the years to the blood donor service. And I suppose some people would say, well, look, the, the, the donating blood is, is more important than your political sensibilities. You should have just said, well, no, of course I'm not pregnant. I'm a 66-year-old bloke, you moron, uh, and given the blood. Uh, but he didn't. Uh, and that's why it's a good news story, because it's very important that the individual stands up and actually makes his feelings clear about this idiocy, which we're all having to go through at the moment, because it actually matters and it actually works in the end. Um, if you look at, for example, uh, various sort of transgressions of wokedom, there was the uh, copper from uh, the former copper from Hull, who was reported to his old employers, the police, for having retweeted a, 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 a limerick about transgender uh, man or woman. Uh, and he didn't let it lie. The police came round and said to him, you know, you've got to watch your thinking and put him on the non-criminal um, non uh, data list for race hate. Uh, and he took them to court and he won. And, and you've also heard in the last few weeks, you know, people like Sharon Davis, talking about transgenderism and suddenly suddenly the swimming association decides the world swimming body fina decides that swimmers uh, that male swimmers shouldn't be competing against women after years of uh, of allowing them to do so so the reason it's a good news story mate is that the ordinary man in the street can make a difference and the voice of Leslie Sinclair will reverberate around and someone else tomorrow or the day after will also, you know, who's 50 years old maybe and goes in to donate some blood and he's asked, are you pregnant? will say, I'm not answering that because it's a stupid question and you're wasting my time. And so it will grow.